So these are the types of weeks that will will truly test your conviction in an asset. Me personally, I have the long term mindset. These types of weeks don't matter to me. But what this has really presented us is opportunity in terms of Shiba Inu, because we just saw one of the biggest days we have seen since March in terms of SHIB, and all the signs are there that SHIB is in fact ready to bounce and take this next leg as well. I'm Luxide, welcome to the channel. If you guys are new or haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that bell again, it's free to do. It'll keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So believe it or not, looking at this, I would say that Shiba Inu is full bullish right now. And you might be looking at this like, what? We just had three straight red days, a 5% day, a 2.5% day, a 9% day, and you're bullish? Yeah, in fact, I am. Shiba Inu right now is showing support down at the, the bottom of this range, like we talked about, 4024. Hopefully, this continues to hold. And we kind of bounce around in this 4028 through 4024 range. And what we're seeing right now is something very similar to what we saw in the earlier part of this year before SHIB took that leg, all right? No, it's not at the same price point. No, there's not the same levels of liquidity here, but we went through this similar consolidation before making this next spike to the upside. <clears throat> now, why I'm saying this is obviously alt season is, is just ahead of us. Excitement is, is kind of been dulled down a few days. We've dealt with some consolidation in terms of BTC. Unfortunately, the reason that, that SHIB even had such a bad day yesterday was because BTC was on the drop, Ethereum was on the drop, it drug everything down. And now we're starting to see this bounce back. We have the potential to get into short liquidations again. You can start to see assets move very quickly. In fact, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised by a very quick SHIB spike of uh, like 10% if we ran up to the 4027 range. This isn't a guarantee. This isn't financial vice or anything like that. But <clears throat> what I will say is that really we have a lot of activity picking up in terms of SHIB and many other assets in the space. For example, yesterday was actually the largest whale transaction day we have seen since March, okay? Since the time where Shiba Inu did a four and a half X. We saw 22 trillion Shiba Inu on the move yesterday. That is huge, all right? Now, this did result in a net positive day. In fact, the last three days have been net positive days for Shiba Inu. We had that 3.47 trillion day the other day. We had 44 billion two days ago, and yesterday, 693 billion, okay? So we've seen them add basically 4 billion, or I'm sorry, 4 trillion to their bags over the last three days. They have taken advantage of this dip in a big way. And this is where retail gets caught. This is where retail gets stuck, you know, falling for the drops in the market, for the consolidation. They're like, oh, we're going to drop down. We're going to go back to these levels. And then they get stuck FOMOing in on the way back up. That's why I'm saying that these legs are, are about to hit. Now, we're also seeing some very similar signs in terms of supply on exchanges. We've seen uh, probably about a week and a half straight of, of inflows. There have been some outflow days, but we've seen it climb from 137 trillion, 137.7 trillion available on exchanges to 139 trillion, so 1.3 trillion in inflows. And that's not surprising because as we see some of these peaks, we tend to see some inflows to exchanges, people taking profit. Profit. But what I will say now is this is looking a little toppy. It's appearing that exchange supply is about to drop back down. And we know what that does. That creates the next leg in terms of shit. Now, nobody knows if, if this is going to remain the same, but the trends have been very consistent. And what I will say is we're, we're gearing up for some, some major excitement in the market. Again, we talked about yesterday, alt season being right upon us. The, the optics outside the space are building, but you need to know they're not even close to the March spot yet. They're not even close to what they were in the height of the last market cycle. And this is why I believe SHIB's next leg is going to be uh, a very big one. And it's probably going to hit a lot sooner than people expect. Now, again, the biggest thing I can preach is, is patience, conviction, know what you hold, and know that we are still here so early before the people that will be coming into the market, even just in the next 12 months. So I appreciate you guys as always. I hope you guys enjoyed the video right now. Uh, I'm very bullish about SHIB. Again, I still have my long positions open. If you guys are curious, have not closed any of these, don't know when I am. Still up 527%. I've had this open since September 24th. Uh, I did a shib long yesterday, a very, very short term one made like 15% and then just let it, let it go. <laughs> but we're, we're, we're getting, I, I can't, I'm so excited. I, I can't stress how close we are to really that big aha moment, that big burst of excitement. It is coming. Be prepared. And I have a great day. I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.